Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. Can you believe that I said that without even like pausing? My hands are wet from, I just filled up my water. Um, I know it's Tuesday because I have a full day at my schedule and I only do calls and meetings now because I'm sticking to my new schedule. Aren't you proud of me? Mr. Flo, you said that I haven't been flexing lately. Um, there you go. Um, whew. It's so weird because I had a massage yesterday at Lifetime and I almost feel like she must have really worked. She's working my neck. Sometimes, okay, if you go for a massage, there are several levels of massage. Um, sometimes massage is, is nice and it's a perk, but it's also something that can be, what's the word I'm looking for, um, therapeutic. It can really um, help if, you're, if you have, if you sit at a computer and you're like this a lot. Um, also if you're training really hard, it, but in those cases when you're doing deep tissue massage or like sports rehabilitation type massages, it's not the kind where you're laying there going, ah, oh, this is quite pleasurable. It's more like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But you know that you need to have it done. So, like I told you, it was Corey that first did that thing to my neck where I felt like he was taking my muscle and ripping it out. But it was needed up here, right? So she was doing a lot of that. I almost feel like I did not work out yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. I had a, um, an hour deep tissue, and I swear to God, I, my muscles, my upper body, I feel like she worked. So, anyway, it's all good, but I am dressed, as you can see, you can't see my feet, but um, I'm gonna be, today is uh, cardio day, so today will be a run at Lifetime. Um, it's very now, Chicago is very cold, so here's the thing, I have, um, a lot of nice jackets and stuff. I don't think I've got, like, I don't, my skin's really dry. Um, I don't have the full gear to run outside when it's really cold. I don't have gloves, and not to mention, maybe somebody can tell me how to um, deal with this, but when I run outside and it's cold, I'm just gonna be honest with you, my nose runs. It's really, <laughs> how do you deal with that? Is that something where you have to wear a mask? But I'm running and finding myself going, <sighs> What's up with that? So that's a little side note that I don't like about running outside when it's cold. And that's what I like about, oh, I feel the need to stretch, um, running at lifetime. Um, not to mention the fact that I can really kick up the intervals and, and have fun there. So that's what I'm doing. But I tend to, just so that you guys know, um, here's what I'm doing when I run at, uh, at lifetime. I'm just really peeling. Skin's really dry. And I'm putting the coconut oil on my face and it still is dry. That tells you it's really dry. Um, I tend to get on the treadmill and I'll do like a two minute warm up. And then I will do two miles, um, usually around, I'll start off at 4.5 miles an hour and then I'll work up to five miles an hour. So then I'll do two miles like that. Then I stop, take a break, have some water. And then I'll t do the next two miles um, at like intervals. So I'll go from 3.5 miles an hour up to 4.5 and then up to 6 and then I'll go back down to 4 miles an hour and then I'll go up to 6.5 back to 4 and then I'll go up to 7 and then I'll you know and I'll do that for one minute intervals sometimes I throw in like 30 second intervals but I'll go all the way from like you know 4 miles an hour 8 miles an hour is about as fast as I can go without flying off the treadmill and causing an accident <laughs> so um but I really like it. I just feel like I get such a sweat on. I can see I get my heart rate really high and then I'm able to bring it down very fast as well, which I know is good because my trainer Jay taught me that. Um, so I really like it and then I usually finish up with doing serious incline where I'm walking. So I'll, I'll start off at a five incline and I'll go up to 10 incline and 15 incline in intervals of uh, a, a minute and I'm walking and I'll start off when I'm at a five incline, walking at 3.5 miles an hour, 3.6, and then I'll move it up to 10, and I move that down to 3.4, I move it up to 15, and I move that down to three miles an hour. And let me tell you, you can feel your glutes working. Um, so it's all cool, I really like it. 
Um, and now I am transitioning uh, my workouts um, will be, you know, Val's helping me, but I'm going to be doing a lot more really heavy weight training in the gym um, as opposed to doing my circuits that I've been doing here. I'm ready to serious muscle building. Um, I'm feeling really good about my fat loss. Um, I'm eating well and everything is, it's just different with the, with, with my eating, you guys. I mean, I've even had some, um, some sweets lately. And when I, when I have sweets or if I get something that I'm craving, a lot of the stuff that used to appeal to me, I don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those people that's like, you could put a whole box of Krispy Kremes in front of me and I'm not tempted at all, please. Are you kidding me? I could eat a whole box of Krispy Kremes. I don't care when, and that's always gonna be the case. But I really, on a regular basis, I enjoy what I'm eating. I'm satisfied. I can tell that my stomach has shrunk in that I can't eat as much food all at once, even when I find something that's amazing in front of me. Here's this, I've really gone on this strange journey with this cabbage thing um, because it all started when I watched, I was watching my Jenny Lynn videos and my uh, Gita Aliotti videos again um, about their training and in the one video for Gina Aliotti she was making this, she was making spring rolls so she took a bunch of cabbage and put it in a in a pan, sauteed it with her spices and olive oil um, and then she added, uh, she said you could add carrots, you could add onions, based on you know your diet, if you will. Um, she's training for figure in, in that context, so that's why she's like, based on what your diet is. Um, you know, when you're just cooking, you just cook. So she added that, and then she, she had already cooked up chicken breast, so she shredded that and put that in with the um, cabbage. And I was watching her make that, and then she actually made spring rolls out of that mixture. And she said, you know, you could eat all of this if you wanted to, but I didn't want to make it into spring rolls, but I'm like, wow, sauteed cabbage and chicken, that sounds good. So my first variation of this is I saute a bunch of cabbage with a red onion, which I like to call purple onion because I think it's purple, not red. I add oregano, garlic, um, obviously the good olive oil. We'll talk about that later. Um, olive oil, um, and I saute that until it sautés down, and then I added ground turkey. Now, last week I was feeling a little sassy, so I added some apple, which I it was kind of okay. I, I, I don't know that I would do it again. It was different, some people like it. But then, um, did I say ground turkey? Yeah, so I like ground turkey. But then, yesterday, I went a little Italian on you, and I added uh, marinara sauce. Now, I got this marinara sauce at Walmart, if I have the, hold on, because I made sure when I was shopping, because I'm washing these. Um, I'm washing the, this is a good bottle. Sometimes I store things in bottles, or jars. So I was looking at, when I buy something that's jarred like this, I'm always gonna look at the ingredients. The ingredients are this, are whole Italian plum tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, pure Italian olive oil, fresh white onions, fresh chopped basil, fresh garlic, sea salt, and spices. This was the brand that I got at Walmart, um, and it was quite, like I opened it up and I was like, damn, that's good. It's not like, well, I, I shouldn't make fun of the brand because I used to eat that, but I don't want um, all the stuff. So this might look gross to you, it might look good to you. This is about probably, five meals. This is so filling. And again, I think you guys know, I'm not one of those girls that's like, oh, I can only eat a few pieces of lettuce and a cracker. Okay, I can eat a house if I want to. Um, but this is very, very filling. Like yesterday, I can't lie, I was dragging a little bit because I may or may not have had quite a lot of wine on Sunday. No details there. Um, but I was dragging a little bit, so I was off my game. I was not as normally in my eating cycle. And um, so uh, by the time I made this last night, I, I'm literally like, I, I don't know, I scooped out maybe. This doesn't make, you can't really see. Anyway, all that to say, I, I scooped it out and I sprinkled a little um, Parmesan cheese on the top and it was quite tasty, but I was literally like, forcing myself to have the last few bites because it's filling. Um, so I'm I'm digging this weird concoction that I've made. I really like adding the, um, I have to wipe off my counter. Sorry, 
Um, so I really like it. It's filling. It's easy to have um, in my in my cabinet in my cabinet refrigerator. Um, and that's it. So here's here's my deal lately. You guys have been asking. Um, so I get up in the morning. I have my uh, Genetics HD in the shaker. Um, then I have my coffee, just my coffee with the um, uh, coconut oil and my um, coconut oil and cinnamon. Um, and so I'm kind of doing a version lately of like intermittent fasting. So what I'm doing is. Um, I'll stop eating my last meal like at 8 the night before, say. Um, and then I don't, so I get up in the morning, I have my Genetics HD, I have my coffee, um, and then I don't eat my first meal until after my workout. Now, this morning, um, I'm not going to, I have a I have a meeting at 12, so I'm not going to be able to go to the gym, get my workout done, and, and today my workout is running. So my workout is going to be later. But that said, my first meal will probably be, let's see, if I ate it, last night it'll probably be about one or no noon so um, you're, you're kind of doing like 16 hours you eat for eight hours and you fast for 16 hours um, and it's really nothing you guys know I've done intermittent fasting in the past slightly different where you did two uh, when I did that eat stop eat you did two 24 hour fasts a, a week and you would go like if you were gonna do a fast in in that way you would go from breakfast, you'd have your, your breakfast, and then you would not eat until breakfast again the next day, and you do tw two of those um, a week. Now, when you're incorporating any kind of intermittent fasting, I'm not the expert, okay? You can ask people like Dr. Mike and, and uh, you know, um, Brad, the gentleman that wrote the intermittent fasting Eat, Stop, Eat book, um, but it does not uh, interfere with um, your metabolic function, it doesn't interfere with, um, muscle building, um, it can be good. You just have to make sure, like, if you're doing this, <laughs> then you don't you don't go to the extreme with what you're eating and have like egg whites and fat free everything. You have to eat. Um, so I'm not, you know, the goal is it, it really is for me. It makes it a lot more simple. Um, you guys that have been poor you reading my blog and watching my videos for a while, my personal metabolism, I work better doing workouts with no food in my body. Um, yeah, I've always been that way. I do better running. I do better working out when I have an empty stomach. It's just my thing. I've tried to have, like eat before a run. I've tried to, like if I work out and I've eaten at three and I work out at five, the food's still not digested. It's just my thing. So I'm fine working out on an empty stomach and it actually, I feel better. I It's just what works for me. So for me, eating between like 12 and eight every day, and keeping that window and then being able to um, eat a little bit more freely, it's its really hard to go over a caloric window when you do that. Um, this is what works for me. I don't know if this is um, necessarily what's helping me lose weight. I think all of this stuff, it's just cumulative. I've just been adding really, really good habits each week. Um, my food, the quality of my food when I'm eating is getting better. Um, I'm taking care of myself. I certainly can't say that my workout consistency, meaning six days a week, I'm still not back up to 100%, which is on me. Um, but I think, can you only imagine if I'm getting these kind of results with weight loss, imagine what's gonna happen now when I really amp up the weights um, and my, my training and um, so on and so forth. So um, I take my Genetics HD and then when I have my first meal, I'll take, I'm always going to roll my eyes about this because vitamin smell. I don't care who makes them. I don't care what, but I use the GNC um, Vitapax, so I take that. This is the uh, Physio Burn that comes with Genetics HD, so I take this, yeah, all these puppies with my first meal, like with lunch, and then I'll take this, another one, because Dr. Mike told me I need to take two of these um, with dinner. Oh, and then I take a probiotic, so I take one probiotic with uh, with lunch. I try to do all of these and again if you could watch me taking my pills you would laugh your ass off because I'm like don't smell it don't smell it it's like this Jedi mind trick I play with myself do what you gotta do so that said I've got a call very soon um, I hope you guys have a great day Wow I think my I think I'm still hurting from like my chest workout when I did chest press um, and flies on Saturday I can feel it right here um, anyway 
everything else is great. I feel great. Um, I just feel like I'm in a flow. Like everything is is feeling good and natural, and um, I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited because I do. I think I'm gonna hit my goal by the end of the year. And I certainly have been saying that I wanted to do that for two years, but I wasn't in the right mindset. I certainly wasn't sticking to things, and I just. I found what works for me, I'm making changes in the right way, I'm not, you know, extreme dieting or doing anything crazy and, you know, I'm just lucky. I'm, I'm surrounded by incredible people that can advise me what to do and so there's that. Um, I do have new neighbors now so we'll have to see what's going on over there, I'll have to update you. Hopefully they're not really strange. Um, and that's it. So you guys have a great rest of the week. Hopefully this will be the first week that I finally really get back on my game with shooting my videos, shooting... Oh, and then also, here's the update with my parents. Um, so tomorrow we're taking my dad for his procedure. I will be with him and my mom all day. So his procedure uh, for the prostate cancer is tomorrow. Um, and then my mom does her first chemo on uh, next... I think it's next Wednesday. Is that next Wednesday? The 7th? And then she goes every three weeks. So I will, I've will i marked that on my calendar and I will be with her. Um, and I might be sporting some fun wigs just to, you know, show her that she's not the only one that gets to wear wigs. So, But I really appreciate everybody. Your prayers, your emails. Um, I have the best parents in the world. And they're going to get through this. And, hey, it's helping me become more aware because I certainly know my mom's mom died of breast cancer when my mom was eight. Um, and, you know, I ran, I didn't run, I did the um, breast cancer walk like about 10 years ago in honor of my grandmother that I never met. Um, so this is really, you know, kind of maybe God telling me to be a little bit more aware <laughs> of my own health and, and watching out for that. So, and how timely, not in a good way. It's timely that this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, um, more info to follow. And, um, sorry, my ponytail's looking weird. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of the day. Okay, bye.